Hello everyone. Eat that 13 year old pussy here. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh, why? <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Welcome. Fuck six. Welcome to this brand new video. Today we're going back to visit someone who is honestly my best friend. He is someone I... <laughs> I don't even know this man personally. We're going back to Amen Alex. Now, if you remember last time, Amen Alex had some uh, very, very interesting shit to say about horniness. It kills your uh, ability to love, your ability to trust people. Um, it makes you more self centered and more selfish than we already are when we're born into this world. And now we're going to revisit him basically because he has a fucking part 2 to that video. Which he shamelessly plugged at the end of his last video. And I wanted to take a look at the second part of this video because holy fuck the things that he has to say in the second part are even worse. <laughs> Somehow this man got worse. Now let's, let's look at part 2 of, of how to overcome lust. This video is called how to quit porn forever how to quit porn in the bible paul uses the word pornea to refer to any type of fornication any type of inappropriate sexual behavior so with that definition that broadens our scope there's no such thing as soft porn hard porn the culture wants you to believe that there is you know a little bit there's a little tiny bit of porn that is acceptable and that's called soft porn and then there's the explicit stuff on like pornhub and stuff so you open this thing by giving a Bible definition of what porn is and then say there's no hard porn or soft porn. I mean, there clearly is hardcore porn and softcore porn. You see, you, you wouldn't call uh, uh, something more romantic, more, uh, more vanilla, if, 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 if you will, something fucking, fucking hardcore porn, you know? And you wouldn't call a rape fantasy softcore porn. See what I'm getting at, man? That's bullcrap. It's all porn. It's all sin. It's all gonna kill you if you continue to stay down that life. It's all gonna kill you. It's all gonna kill you. gonna fucking kill you <laughs> okay <laughs> look I'm sorry I'm sorry <clears throat> focus <laughs> it's all gonna fucking kill you in the end oh god yes man I too have seen my friends die from watching porn Now the only thing, <laughs> oh my god, fucking hell, now the only thing I can fucking imagine is Mia Khalifa coming to my house with a fucking double barreled shotgun while I'm masturbating and just fucking blowing my brains out. <laughs> it will, it will, I mean, it will destroy your ability to love, to your ability to serve the other person, because love is all about sacrifice. Again, again with this, no it's not. It's not going to kill your ability to love. You know what's going to happen? You might have some higher standards when it comes to fucking sex. So the first time you ever actually have sex, you're going to be a little disappointed. But that's it. There's nothing more, nothing else, no, no, nothing less. That, that's all. That's all there is to it. It won't kill your ability to love. It won't, be like, it won't make you fucking not trust anyone. Because if that's the case, then... I'm unable to love, my dad's unable to love, but that's not the fucking case, you know? <laughs> it's all about serving, and so what is it really, and then how to quit it, that's what we're gonna talk about. It is 
everywhere. TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, whether it's a uh, photos between two friends on Snapchat or two people who are dating or talking, whether it be an inappropriate way of dancing on TikTok, a fully clothed person dancing a certain way, it can be pornographic. Instagram pictures, Instagram accounts, Twitter videos, reposts, retweets, it's everywhere, guys. And do not let the devil make you feel like it's only porn if it looks like this. Anything that encourages you to think a certain way, to fantasize, um, is pornography. So you're saying people that dance a certain way or people that fucking, I don't know, show off some skin in their Instagram pictures? That's porn. You know, that's porn. Dancing. Dancing is porn, you know? Persona 5 dancing, more like Persona 5 porn. <laughs> oh, God. All, all dances are porn, man. Fucking a, a, anyone from, from fucking that 11-year-old dancing on TikTok to professional ballet dancers. Porn. It's all porn. That's a sin. It's sinful. It's cringe. Ugh. Thank you, Eamon Alex, for opening my eyes to the truth. Thank you. God bless you. Anything that creates a snowball effect of you um, going into a life or going into an action or a thought process, anything that starts that is pornographic. So let's say a woman walks down the street, okay? You're walking, you're walking and then there's a woman walking towards you and, you know, she kind of thick. She, she's good looking. She's a good looking woman. And uh, she dresses in a way that shows off her uh, her best qualities, which is okay. It's okay. That's fine. No, ju no, no judgment from everyone. And it makes you fantasize. It makes you think, damn, that woman is hot. That is porn. <laughs> that is porn. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, do I even need to say anything? I mean, is there anything to be said right now? All I can really say is no. <laughs> no? <laughs> that's not porn, man. I've had to quit uh, being a surf instructor. I was a surf instructor for a while. Uh, here in Hawaii and after a while you start to realize wow these people don't they're not wearing wetsuits to their uh swim instructions in Hawaii people don't wear wetsuits here it's warm water and so after a while I only worked there for like a couple months and I quit I told my wife I was like look these girls are always naked and I don't want to be around it and it's hurting my thought processes it's causing me uh to fall into temptation more easily and so I quit completely to step away from that another woman who isn't my wife is making my dick hard bro I quit quit my job <laughs> God damn it. And now now women wearing bikinis is porn. I mean, sure. If we're going to say that just a woman walking, nor walking down the street normally is porn, sure, we might as well say that women wearing bikinis is porn too. I know that sounds crazy. I know most guys wouldn't do that, but I don't want to be like most guys. I want to be like Jesus. When it comes to quitting porn, you have to cut off your right hand. This when it comes to quitting porn, you have to cut off your right hand. Ah! Ah! <laughs> cut off your right hand. You know what? He's right. He's right. I'm wrong. I gotta do it. I gotta do this. I gotta cut off my right hand. And I will finally be free from sin. Here we are, guys, about to, about to free myself from, from sin. After today, sin will be eradicated from my life, not from the world, from my life, at least. That's what matter, matters, man. So, as you can see, I have my right hand over here. Bro, am I touching ass? Uh, I touch my mouse pad's ass. Oh. Well, 
I gotta be quick, guys. I gotta be quick. Look, this is this is the knife we're using to cut off my right hand. Sin ends today, bitch. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Die. Die. A brilliant knife move. Very difficult. <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ. Ah. I know he meant cut off your right hand metaphorically, okay, you don't have to tell me this, but still, <laughs> but still. <laughs> oh god, so, um, I'm gonna skip most of this, because I, 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 can't, I can't watch this anymore, but, uh, TLDR of all this, the way to metaphorically cut off your right hand. You go on uh, Instagram and all this shit, and then and then you tell the algorithm you don't want to see any of this by putting um, not interested on all accounts that show off some skin. It starts in the morning with me and my wife. Intimacy starts in the morning. It's not just like, hey, let's let's be intimate. No, I have to be kind to her. I have to show respect to her. She has to res show respect to me and love to me, and we pour each other a cup of coffee. We you know, we clean up after each other, we just help each other, we serve each other, we sacrifice for each other, and that leads into intimacy. You know what? This is the only good this is the only good thing he said in this fucking video. Yeah, don't if you if you're in a if you're in a fucking relationship with someone, don't go directly and be like, yo bitch, let's fuck. No. Do what he just told you. Be more like Eamon Alex. No, not really, no. That that's terrible advice, holy fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna end the video there because, I mean, there's more, but it's more of the same. So, I mean, personally, I can't watch more of this because it's just chipping away at my sanity. I feel like I'm going slightly mad and I don't like that. <laughs> so, uh, if you like what you saw, please like, subscribe, comment. Um, yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna help me in any way, subscribing and sharing this with your friends helps me a lot. I won't talk about Amy and Alex next time I do a commentary video, basically because I think, I mean, there's there's more to be said about Amy and Alex, but but I want I want I want to give him a break, and it would be really helpful if you could. Um, Send me some dumb shit I could talk about next time. Doesn't have to be anything related to religion, because I feel I, I feel I'm gonna piss off a lot of people if I just talk about if I just fucking shit on religious people all the time. So again, no hate to Amen Alex or any Christian people person. I just saw this, thought it would be would make for some good for some quality ass content. And yeah, that's all there is to it. Don't forget to subscribe and like. I know I've said this a lot, but uh, it really helps. And uh, if we take a second to look at this graph, we can see that 90% of people who watch my shit are not subscribed. And there is a bug going on YouTube right now that automatically unsubscribes you from channels. So subscribe and then check if, if to see if you're subscri still subscribed and then go with your alt accounts and subscribe again <laughs> I'm just kidding um, and I'll see everyone next time bye bye